Assalamualaikum. Hi guys. Today we focus on binomial distribution. Let's look at the introduction. There are many types of random experiments that have only two outcomes or can be reduced to two outcomes. The binomial distribution is a discrete probability distribution. A binomial experiment or a binomial event has two outcomes which we can define as success or failure. Look at first example, tossing a coin. So, the outcomes are either getting a hat or a tail. So, this one, the example of a random experiment that have only two outcomes. Second example, taking a statistics test based on four multiple answer questions. So this one, you might think that there are four possible outcomes when you answer four multiple answer questions. However, since you are only interested in whether or not your answer is correct, then it became just two outcomes. Either getting correct answer or getting incorrect answer. So this one example of a random experiment that can be reduced to two outcomes. Okay, next. Look at the characteristics of binomial distribution. Suppose a random variable x follows a binomial distribution where the probability of getting success is denoted by P and the probability of getting failure is denoted by Q. So, we can calculate Q equal to 1 minus P. The basic concept here is P plus Q equal to 1. And then, the binomial distribution has n number of independent trials. The outcome of a trial is not affected by the outcome of any other trial. So this one, how we want to write the binomial distribution. X is follows binomial distribution with two parameters, N and P where x equal to 0, 1, 2, up to n. So, this one is the formula of a binomial distribution. So, look at here, n, c, x. So, n, c, x means n, choose x. So, you choose x based on number of independent trial. So, p probability of getting success. Meanwhile, Q calculated based on 1 minus P. And then, you need to know the expected value or commonly known as mean value of binomial distribution, which is denoted by EX. So, EX equal to N times P. And then, the variance of a binomial distribution denoted by Vx and Pq. And last one is the standard deviation of binomial distribution denoted by Sx. So this one calculated based on square root and Pq. Let's try this example together. In a recent survey conducted by Sarah, she found that Three out of four adults in City A had eaten nasi lemak for breakfast. If a random sample of 20 adults is selected, find the probability that First question, exactly 16 have eaten nasi lemak for breakfast. So, first, the random variable of X is follows binomial distribution with n equal to 20 and then the probability of getting success means eaten nasi lemak. So, p here equal to 0 0.75. 3 out of 4. 
0 0.75. Okay. The probability of exactly 16. Substitute all the values into the binomial formula. At the end, the final answer equal to 0 0.1897. Second question is, find the probability that less than 2 do not eat nasi lemak for breakfast. So here, do not eat. So the probability of getting success is not 0 0.75 anymore. So, x is follows binomial distribution with n equal to 20 and p equal to 0 0.25 because of do not eat nasi lemak. So, the probability of less than 2 equal to x equal to 1 plus x equal to 0. Substitute all the values. At the end, the final answer of the probability that less than 2 do not eat nasi lemak for breakfast equal to 0 0.0243. So this one, how to find the probability values of binomial distribution using binomial formula. Let's try to use calculator to find the answer using binomial formula. Okay, let's see. First question, x equal to 16. Then substitute into the formula like that. So here, you need to key in 20. C. So, C choose 60 times 0 0.75 power 16 times 0 0.25 power 4. Then, equal 0 0.1897. So, same answer here. Okay, let's try second example. X less than 2, so substitute using calculator. So, 20 C 1 times 0 0.25 power 1. So, power 1 times 0 0.75 power 1. 19 and then so that one is for x equal to 1 plus x equal to 0 don't forget open bracket so 20 c 0 times 0 0.25 power 0 times 0 0.75 power 20 close bracket equal so 0 0.0243 so this one how to use the calculator to find the probabilities value using binomial formula we use this concept or this symbol ncr so press shift and then divide. Okay guys, second method on how to find the probability value of binomial distribution is by using cumulative binomial probabilities table. First method is by using binomial formula. So this one for pages of cumulative binomial probabilities table but you can use this table if and only if based on selected n selected p and the symbol here must be greater and equal 
So you must remember these five concept of the question. First, the symbol is already in greater and equal. So just direct refer to the table. Second question, more than. So more than you need to transform to the symbol of greater and equal. So R plus 1. Third question. Less and equal to R. So this one less than. So less than 1 minus. Same as number 4. Less than. So 1 minus here. But for number 3. R plus 1. For number 4 is R. And last one. X is R. So let's say X is R. So from the table, you read from the value of R minus the value of R plus 1. So this one on how you want to find the probability value of binomial distribution using the binomial probabilities table. Okay. Let's try together how to find the probability values using cumulative binomial probabilities table. 25% of trees in a forest have severe leaf damage from air pollution. 10 trees are selected at random. Calculate the probability that first question at least two of the selected trees have severe leaf damage. Second question, less than 6 of the selected trees have severe leaf damage. And last question, exactly 3 of the selected trees have severe leaf damage. Okay, first, how to solve this example? X is follows binomial distribution with n equal to 10 and then probability of getting success denoted by p equal to 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 based on this statement 25 percent severe leaf damage okay so x is from 0 1 2 up to 10 okay then using the table Choose the right page. So this one, what we need here is N. N is 10 and then P is 0 0.25. So that one. First question, at least 2. So at least 2, you may direct read from the table. So, at least 2 means that R equal to 2. So, right here, 0 0.7560. So, that one, the final answer for first question. Second question, X less than 6. So, this symbol, less than. So, transform to this symbol, at least. Remember that. When you want to use the table, you need to use only this symbol. So this one, less than 1 minus x greater and equal to 6. So from the table, x greater and equal to 6 means read for r equal to 6. So that one. So, 1 minus 0 0.0197. Final answer for second question is 0 0.9803. So, this one, 0 0.0197. When R equal to 6. Last question, exactly 3. So, X equal to 3. So, equal. Transform to the symbol of greater and equal so x greater and equal to 3 minus x greater and equal to 4 so from here r equal to 3 minus r equal to 4 
Therefore, find the answer for third question equal to 0 0.2503. So, this one, the example on how to use the cumulative binomial probabilities table. You must remember three basic concepts. First, based on selected N. Second, selected P. And last one, the symbol must in greater N equal symbol. Okay guys, that's all about the binomial distribution. Assalamualaikum. Dah.